quietly. So, you guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not, we have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we are gonna need that luck, all right. Fair wind. Man your stations, way anchor. We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait till the reeds until about four o'clock. Artyomich, Duke, you're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine. Blade. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. So, Artyom, shall we move? Whoever gets there first wins. Break a leg. Artyom, Duke, the Aurora is quietly moving into position. We'll be ready to act on your six. Roger that, sir. We're on it. Over. Because they have arrived. Just like Father Salavius foretold. Who are I? It's like you missed the one yourself. <laughs> well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. Oh, it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Uh, all right. Well, You see, this sign means back. Back? But you and Kirill now to eradicate all the demons. You can't just come back after that. Well, don't ask anyone. They got captured by heathens, but a heretic. <laughs> what you want ah, old Simon just got cold feet, that's all. All the stories people tell not to go. No, he did not. He came back and with a huge fuss of the church and got his way too. Now we will be praying for a heretic to be assigned. You got that? Oh, God. For a heretic? It would please God, though. That's Simon. What next? Then we just made the sign of the cross, kiss the altar, and we'll look back to the demons. Down there. 
and the skies rained mist, and the ground burned to ash, and the seas boiled, and people turned into shadows. But our cloisters survived, for the faithful resigned. And the Lord in his mercy and in the kingdom has chosen one among them who goes by the name of Silantia. And so speaketh the Lord, I will be with you and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion, provided you reject satanic technology. We will reject. And even more so, do you reject Satan's deception? The thing they call electric cult. The curse that gives the enemy cave to the fools, so that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than him. We reject. temptation and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be led through by the salvage. Glory to the fish! The hell is Leave 
us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to end my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers! Hold your fire! You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots! Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop. Or the bridge might collapse. You are all here. Jump. We've reached an agreement. agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move forward. So don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Hear you loud and clear to everywhere else. All hands. Hold your fire and help order. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs> We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we'll be able to trust others just because. Because they are all here. Too. I'm in Gemetti. Over. Canel, Canel, come in. Canel, over. That's just great. on Meshtikov. Did you forget who started trading with the convicts from Zolotoy? Huh? Well, that was Zakhar's idea. And Zakhar is the man. He crossed by Kal. Alone. We try not to do anything he proposes at once. Well, Menshikov? I couldn't care less about. Aren't you getting too big in your head? You're so cool now that the relay gang is off your case? Don't fall off that high horse. Go to hell, Dan. All right. I can live with listening to Menshikov if you're so fond of him. Ah, enough of that shit already. The important part is that Irkut is still around, and you guys are too. You're right. That is the important part. Well, give my regards to Menshikov. <laughs> Over and out. You devil. <laughs> Over and out. How long have we been on the road? 
road for. I've been listening to the radio, too. And there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Dad says all those are coded transmissions, that they all have hidden meaning, but... Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here... This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember? Neither Katya nor Christ have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like the Middle Ages. Excellentius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse. Uncle Ertio! Uncle Ertio! Uncle Dokarev has already set his shop up! Wanna go look? It's so cool! Here, Uncle Ertio! Ah, hi, Ertio! See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. A oh, smoke break! Let's go! What do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits. But I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? A big plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father, he's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sini used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Now stop it already! <laughs> hey, Artyom, what did you the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. So, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. <sighs> well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. 
Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> that he did, yeah, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the Vest yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? Oh, how should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, 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 and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! There was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> well, you, Duke, are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jump the old creature of theirs. Well, Listen, I had a talk with the Ark, and all thanks to Dokura, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Dokura. Is this is Ark? Smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. 
It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the truck. So I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You are saying it's all about the results. Ah, yes. These soft-bellied attitudes must stop. The ends do justify the means. Well, I don't object. But not all ends can be called just. Exactly. And this is why. Why I have been waiting for a chance like this for ages. And now everything seems to be coming together. It's the government. Don't you understand? Oh, but of course. Hmm. You don't seem to quite grasp the importance. Which is unexpected. So many years apart, so why worry now? Ah, but don't you see? They probably knew. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro.
Take the Aurora back to the safe zone and sit tight there. Please do that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, 
Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had luck in a while. Who are you? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of hers. I'll tie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. You fucker! Let me... Let me go! Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. Since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here, I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. But I'll get you now. Burn this town to ashes. So that not even their dirty clothes remain. Now we'll be full again. Good. But for 
first. We must find Anna. I'm sorry. I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it. Idiot. Start the main elevator off. Ready. <sighs> elevator on the Sam, move. Hit the air. One minute. Cover. Yes, sir. Well done. We can hold up for that long. at the most, so we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. 